I felt like I was on, on, on patrol in the jungles of Vietnam. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, a very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? When you come home from a nice, relaxing vacation and you return to a house of fucking horrors. Now, follow me. Usually, before anyone goes on vacation, we make sure everything is okay with the house. We, we shut shit down. We make sure nothing can catch on fire. We make sure nothing can flood. We do whatever we can so we can go away with a nice, clear, peaceful mind. And if you're lucky enough, like me, to have a next door neighbor who can trust to give the key and the alarm code to so they can bring in the mail, take out the garbage, feed the cat and the tropical fish and make sure everything is okay. You can really sleep at night when, when you're away. Anyway, I just got back from visiting my kids who live in Scotland and Please don't ask me why my kids live in Scotland. That, that That's a whole other rant. So I pull up to my house at 3 p.m. And already I can see that this is going to be, how shall I say, a difficult transition from vacation to back home again. All the landscaping lights are on in the middle of the day. And the sprinklers are on even though it's raining. It looked like the, the fucking Bellagio in Las Vegas. The big tropical storm that we had while I was away shut the power down for five fucking days. So, so I need to deal with the lights and, and the sprinklers. But, but I, got, I got to get the luggage in first. So I'm dragging out four big suitcases from the car to the front door. And, and I'm trying to walk through my grass, which is now knee high. I felt like I was on, on, on patrol in the jungles of Vietnam. The landscaper said he was able to cut it once due to all the rain we've had while I was gone. And, and by the way, only one of the four suitcases was mine. Yeah. And the other three were, were my wife's. It, it, it's like traveling with fucking Mrs. Howell from Gilligan's Island. And this was not a three-hour tour, believe me. And those, those, and then two of those suitcases, just for shoes. You think I married a fucking centipede? Anyway, so now we unlock the front door and walk in. And normally we hear the security pad, which has a certain set of beeps, until we disarm it. Instead, we saw a message on it that said, "Please reset." Now, this obviously happened because of the power outage. But, of course, the chirping from the fucking smoke alarm sounds like a bunch of crickets did acid and took Viagra. So now I got to stand under each fucking alarm and try to figure out which one is chirping, which is the definition of impossible. I guess that was also because of the power outage. So, oh, it gets better. So, as, as I walk through the house... Uh, listening to the listening to crickets banging each other in the ass. I, I can see all the clocks are wrong, and of course, the entire downstairs downstairs smells like an old Hoover's fish bucket because the food went bad in the refrigerator. The power went off for five days. Thank God, Eddie, my cat, he looked happy and healthy and was glad to see us. I mean, wh why wouldn't he be happy and healthy and glad to see us? The fucking house smelled like a a fucking tuna exploded. So I, go in, so I go outside once I got done inside, and because the power went out, my pool wasn't running, and it looked like the, 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 the Gowanus Canal during an algae bloom, and, 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 uh, and the, the fish died off. Meanwhile, Lucy is in the house emptying all the food. It's going to cost us hundreds of, of, of dollars to replace. So we called the electric company, and they actually said that I have to show them the receipts, and they'll replace what was spoiled. How the fuck do they expect me to save a receipt for a fucking turkey burger that I bought three weeks ago? Are you fucking kidding me? How about you just give anyone who lost power for five fucking days a deduction in their next bill, you dumb fucks? No, that would make too much sense. 
The TV has no internet connection. The Wi-Fi isn't working. I mean, holy fucking shit. You'd think we were marooned on an island for a few years. How can all of this happen while we're away for a little longer than a week? So, we finally get everything cleaned up and shut off and rebooted and whatever else we had to do to launch a fucking Mars rover into space. And Lucy wants to whip up some dinner. And here we go. The fucking oven and dishwasher don't work because the storm and the lightning fried the motherboard. That's what the tech guy told us when we called. What the fuck is it with all these modern appliances? I, I just want shit with knobs that turn and, and buttons you fucking push. This shit never happened years ago. A storm didn't destroy the dishwasher, but now oh, all these circuits and all this digital bullshit is great when it works. But if you sneeze the wrong way nowadays, you need the Maytag repairman and a fucking engineer to come over and fix the fucking thing. Well, we finally did whatever we could do in the house. Okay, to get the house in order, we, we went upstairs to take a shower and just go to sleep. We were exhausted. Thank God the shower and, and sinks worked, and the toilets. I dropped what I can only explain as a Scottish deuce the size of, of a fucking peat bog before I went to sleep. I guess I ate a, a lot on vacation. I, I really wasn't e evacuating often as I normally do. But but anyway, I got into bed and Lucy didn't, e Lucy didn't even say anything about the smell. Thank God the house still stunk from the food going bad. Going away on vacation and coming back to a house of horrors, that's what fucking ticks me off.